Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be making a ring unlike anything I've ever created. It's going to be really unique and I have really high hopes for it. Let's go over kind of the basic idea and design of the ring. First, it's going to have an AstroTech liner to it. It's gonna be a clear ring. I'm not gonna add any pigments to it. And then I'm going to use two different sizes of rough diamonds. These are amazing, they look beautiful. And I'm also going to sprinkle in both green and blue glow powder. So the whole thing is gonna be kind of translucent. It's going to sparkle from the diamonds. It's also gonna have sort of a kind of starry night look to it when it's glowing in the dark. So it should look amazing. The first step is going to be using this brass to create a blank that I can make a mold out of that we will use the AstroTech epoxy to pour into. Then we'll go ahead and get started on the inlaying steps and go from there. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, first I need to create the mold that I'll actually cast the ring out of. So to do that, I'll be using methods that you've seen me use in the past. All I need to do is separate a piece of brass from my original rod stock. Then I'll throw it over into my lathe, start hollowing it out. And the shaping of it is where it gets a little bit complicated. Essentially what I need to do is to create a ring shape with a pour spout attached to that. So it's gonna be a little bit confusing, but if you pay attention, it should start to make sense. And I'll make sure to polish it very nicely because the finish I get on this is the finish that the mold is going to have and I can reuse that mold. And so that's really important. That's gonna save me a lot of time down the road. If I spend five extra minutes sanding here, that'll save me five minutes every single time I use the mold. Now I'll go ahead and mix up some silicone. I'll use a vacuum to degas it. Then we'll pour it around the brass blank and we should be left with a nice mold ready to cast our resin into. All right, now I'll take my mold and I'll use some AstroTech jewelry grade epoxy, mix it up and we'll pour it in there We just need to put this in the vacuum. That way the resin will seep perfectly down into the recess of the ring blank. That will get rid of all of the bubbles and make sure that the resin is able to fill down into the mold perfectly. All right, now we'll just let it cure overnight, make sure that it's fully hardened. and I'll carefully use a jeweler's handsaw to separate the blank from the excess resin. Now I'll quickly flatten out the edge, get it flush where I want it. I'm not going to polish it or anything like that. We'll do all of that later.
for now, what I'm going to do is switch over to my lathe. And I need to cut a groove into the blank. We'll use that to inlay all of the diamond pieces. Now I'll use my Astrotech UV hardening resin to put a first layer down. If you didn't know, the way this works is it's a resin that cures from UV light. And so it makes it really helpful because depending on how much UV light you use, you can kind of select how hard or tacky you want it to get. So I'm putting down a really thin layer. I'm only hardening it slightly. That way it's still tacky. That way the diamonds will hold on to it. Then I'm going to take away the UV light, I'm going to do all of the inlaying process and I'll fully cure it later using a lot more UV light. All right, after a few minutes in the UV bath, we've got it fully hardened. The diamonds are completely secured in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in the glow powders. And I've picked to use blue and green because I think they'll go really nicely together. I want to give this kind of a starry night, just almost galactic look to it. So I think these will combine and do a really good job of that. My strategy here is to just dab a little bit of UV resin in places that I want to target with a high concentration of the glow powder, but I don't want to do that everywhere. So on some parts of the ring, I just do a really light dusting. That'll really help kind of give it that kind of starry night look. Now once I've got that all set in place, it's time to just go ahead and do another layer two of the UV resin. And again, I'll throw that in the UV bath. This time I'm giving it plenty of time to fully cure all the way. Because if I don't wait and I start sanding into it, it'll start to gum up and it'll ruin the entire inlay. All right, now I just need to do a quick sanding and polishing to the outside. I'll also do a quick one to the inside.
So here it is guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was a fun one to make. The results came out really clean. This is what I was hoping for. A ring that was mostly translucent, something that would be really subtle. And the glow that this has is just kind of amazing. I love the look of it. I think the way this ring looks in the daytime as well as the way it looks in the nighttime just kind of pair perfectly together. Both of them are just super unique, have an awesome look to it. So. That's it for this video guys. Let me know if you've got any feedback down in the comments below. If you've got any suggestions for future videos, future products, anything like that, be sure to let me know. If you want to order one of these, we've got a link to that down in the description. And also my Instagram page is down there. So be sure to give me a follow. I post discount codes, we do giveaways, and also just a lot of behind the scenes goodness. So anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next week.